All right, I'm here to talk about a uh, 13 Sport Boston Whaler. This is a uh, 2001 model year from Boston Whaler, and it's last year that it was actually known as 13 Sport. Uh, I believe in about 2002, it became known as the 130 Sport. I happen to like this particular model year because I like the 13 Sport logo that is on the console. I think the uh, 130 Sport logo is just not as cool looking. But otherwise, uh, not much change from this boat from 2000 to about 2008. It was uh, a generation of 13-foot hull, hulls that Boston Whaler produced, and uh, they were actually probably one of my favorite generations of the 13 that they produced. Uh, this boat I consider a trailer queen. She's sitting on her uh, 2001 Easy Loader trailer with spare tire. And while we're down here, let's look at the hull. This boat produces a fairly dry ride, so as you cut through the water, all the spray is com comes up and is diverted right back down. Makes for a dry ride and uh, a fairly stable ride when you're out on the water. So some things that I like about this, this generation of the hull, that it's a little different than the one that uh, was being produced in the 90s and before, is the anchor locker. Once you drop anchor, there's a spot for your rope to come out so you don't have to leave the anchor locker open all the time. I always find it annoying and you'd always see hinges popped up on some of the older boats. People would drop their anchor and then what do you do with the line? Well, Boston Wheeler put a little notch in so now when you have a spot for that line to come right out and you can close your anchor locker. You can walk around, stand up here, cast off, sit, whatever you'd like to do while you're, while you're anchored or tied up. Some other things that are a little bit different with this boat. Uh, previous owners added in some supports underneath the benches. Each bench uh, has a support on this boat, and in, and in later model years, Boston Whaler added their own supports to the helm seat bench. Uh, I think they added some nice uh, stability to what is flex in these benches, and uh, so we just kind of left them in as, they're, as they were. Uh, this boat has the complete cushion set. Now, these cushions are not original. The base cushions came from one manufacturer and the rear back rest came from a different manufacturer that does OEM work for Boston Whaler. This back rest is probably one of my favorite additions to this boat. Adds some significant comfort when you're sitting there cruising around, but I like that you can also flip it down and take a seat and you can drive raised up a little bit more and it's perfect for looking out for logs and other debris that could be floating around that you're trying to avoid. Or when, once you stop at your great fishing hole, you just spin around and you can fish off the back. You're, you don't have the backrest permanently in your way from trying to do your activities. And then when you're done and you're ready to cruise home or go for that cocktail cruise, you flip it up and you got some nice, nice comfort. Overall, looking at this boat, it is very clean. Comes with uh, two fuel cells. Uh, well, I like the two fuel cell setup. I know there's people that like to try and put in like the biggest tank they can under these helm benches. I like the two fuel setup mostly because if you're driving around and you run out of gas, you say, okay, I better turn around and go home and plug in the other fuel cell and you know you're gonna make it home. Assuming, I guess you got gas in both of them. Also, I love the rigging. Look at how clean the rigging is on, on these boats. Everything is tidy and clean. A lot of small boats, it's just like just a hot mess. And Boston Whaler really does a nice job of keeping everything clean. And if we're speaking of clean, look at the dash. The dash on this boat is overall fairly clean and unmutilated so far. Uh, all that's been added really is a horn button on the one side. Otherwise, you got your original navigation light switch and uh, a couple screw holes from something somebody had there at one point, who knows what, that kind of got filled in. But overall, it's not like somebody cut speakers into this. They didn't put big switch boxes in. I mean, this is a Boston Whaler. It's a 13 foot boat. You're supposed to have some, it's supposed to be simple and fun. And that's what, you know, I feel like the switches that people add sometimes can distract from that. Like you, you just get in, turn the key and go. You know, it's like a Jeep Wrangler. Turn the key and go, have fun. This boat also has the uh, upgraded stainless steel steering wheel. The original uh, steering wheel from Boston Whaler was like a piece of rubber. Uh, that was probably one of the lower quality. I think this, this adds some nice looks and good feel as you drive around. 
And uh, this one, we also have the uh, Hummingbird depth finder on. I say depth finder, it technically does fish finding, but I don't know how much fish it actually finds. Certainly it does a good job for at the depth. Looking down below, uh, underneath the uh, front bench, we have a storage net to help uh, st store your throwable or stuff like an extra PFD or two. Uh, on the front support bench, we have the fire extinguisher and then also a navigation light. And this is where that navigation light could pop up and, and be inserted for your nighttime driving. And then you got your gear shift and your throttle. Boat also has a, uh, a bimini. I mean, it, this boat has a lot of features for being a 13 foot boat. And then uh, very clean, very clean hull and nice logos. Now, one thing that I like about this particular model or generation of boats from Boston Whaler from the 2000 to about 2008 is that they have three through hull fittings. One in the anchor locker way up front, one here in the rear, so as you're underway, you can pull that out to uh, drain some water out and then stuff it back in once you once you slow up. And then uh, a third, so if you're moored, uh, you pull this one out. This is the third through hole, and the boat is set up so when you're floating level and there's nobody on it, all the water will drain to this location. And so you can leave this, this plug out when you're leaving the boat unattended, so you don't have to worry about a big wave or rain filling up your boat. Water will come up and bubble in and out, but for the most part, most of the water is gonna leave and that's what this through hole is for. And the reason I like that this through hole is here underneath the helm bench is that this is a two stroke motor, two stroke 40 horsepower motor. If you were to upgrade, which I, I would love to put a 40 horsepower four stroke on here. So let's say you put the four stroke motor on here. It's gonna be bigger and heavier than this two stroke. And this through hole, when you're moored, might be underwater by, at that point and not necessarily completely self-bailing. I like that this boat can easily support this heavier motor and your self-bailing plug for when you're moored is up up further here underneath the helm seat bench, making for uh, uh, added flexibility as this boat ages down the road and you wanna put a different motor on. What else, anything else to really talk about for this boat? Overall, it's just incredibly clean. Just a very clean boat. Very good looking. I call it the Jeep Wrangler of boats, just because it's simple and fun. You get in and you go have some fun. It's nothing more, it's not big, it's not luxurious. It's just something to go and have some fun with. All right, that's all I have. Let me know if you have any questions.